Hello viewers, here is a McGraw Edison Edison Comfort Conditioner Box VN. This is a three speed model, non reversible. The cabinet is a faux wood grain with paint speckles from the last time somebody painted the ceiling. By some miracle, the flimsy plastic handle is still with us. The front guard is made of very brittle and yellowed plastic which also by some miracle has no broken slats. The rear guard is made of very rusty metal. The whole thing is very rusty actually and it needs to be had a wire brush taken to it and cleaned up and repainted someday. Tag says McGraw Edison Company 2.6 amps and it does not give a model number but there's a type number it is 203PG I had somebody write in and say this is an older fan and I don't think it is there is some things about it that would lead me to believe it's older. The front guard, the spacing is very, very thick. You easily can put a hand right through it. And the Venturi is there, which are both characteristics of generally older box fans. But the motor on this is what throws me off. It's a very cheap motor. No oil ports. It's just a uh, kind of crimped together um, sheet metal kind of a thing to me that motor looks like a product of the 90's I tend to think the fan is earlier than the 90's but I don't know I don't think it's that old here's the cord it looks like an older cord non-polarized cord's very short and it comes out the middle of the fan so this is very difficult to plug in to an outlet and it usually doesn't reach it does have holes in the side of the, of the cage for the stand and it's got rivets going down there four of them for the Venturi the bottom has holes in it as well I don't know what they would be for but they look like they're for something. And again here you can see how this is kind of cheap. It's just a, a piece of sheet metal bent together and riveted shut at the bottom. Now this fan has some problems. If I recall correctly there's an issue with the blades in the sense that they have a tendency to spin on the shaft because I guess the plastic is worn out or stretched out or something and it doesn't fit tight on the shaft I used to use this in the bedroom in the window so I must have fixed it to some extent either that or it only works properly on low and it gets screwed up at the higher speeds this is a local find which is uh, kind of unusual uh, for something like this in this area not too many of, of uh, these fans show up around here um, it may be a model I'm looking for I recall my grandparents used to have one like this the only thing I really remember about it was the blade was black and they used to use it in the kitchen and it it shook so bad it would actually move across the floor and so they put it in the doorway and it would kind of push up against the doorway at the door frame and not move um, <laughs> what a freak show that was I, that was way too long ago for me to remember exactly what model it was uh, but it might have been this one this this certainly looks a lot like it from what I recall uh, anyways the blade on this kind of changes colors depending on what light you look at it in right now it looks black 
If you take a photograph of the flash, it looks a really deep, solid black color. If you put it in the window with the sun backlighting behind it, it looks translucent gray. Now I'm going to start it up on low because of, of what I believe is wrong with the blade. And we'll see if we can progress up to the higher speeds or not. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. So here we go. vibration is I remember doing that. Anyways that's on low it's drawing 1.2 amps. It's moving a decent amount of air. It's a very gentle breeze but you can feel it's a pretty high volume of air. Pretty quiet too. Let's try a medium. I seem to go okay. We're up to 1.5 amps. I will try high. It seems to be working okay still. It's drawing 2.07 amps. This blade is not a very good match to the motor. You can tell there's not a lot of difference in the speeds, and the amp draw is well below what it's rated for. So it's not putting as much load on the motor as it can handle. This is pretty powerful. Again, it's not a really strong velocity, but it's a high volume for sure. pretty quiet. Certainly a lot quieter than those pedal blade fiends that are out there today. Well, the bearings seem pretty free. I haven't used this in a while. I'm surprised it's that free. I don't think this has much of a startup sound, but let's see. I'll try it on high and see if the blade gets screwed up or not. It does hit. It does have a pretty good startup sound. It's kind of quiet though. The blade didn't seem to get screwed up though. That's good. I guess I must have fixed it. I can't get the switch to stay in the... There we go. Let's see if I can stop this so we can not have this consume so much time. Here's medium. Okay. Stop it again, and here's low. Quite a high volume of air that it moves. Very, very impressive. 
box fans just do not move this much air anymore. And I'm sure that comment will get somebody, or that, it, you know, that, that remark will get somebody in that comments box saying, hey, energy efficiency. Blah, blah, blah. That's a whole different story. So that's it for this one the Edison, McGraw Edison, Edison Comfort Conditioner Box VM. Plates have a nice shine to them.